What is up? We are playing Tainted Rail. Fall of Avalon. Um, episode 4? Well, like episode 11, I think. Really, technically, but... But when I restarted my playthrough, I started over with the episode numbering as well. But anyway, let's see where we're at. Quest will be unlocked in the full version of the game. Ain't this the full version? Don't I own this? It's not the full version. Hold on. All right. I thought I had the full version, but it's early access. Anyway. Let's go kill Carla. He is this way. I don't have to kill Carla. Whatever, I will. You're here. Oh, Come back say. again. Glad your buddy don't care. Announcement from the Royal Ge Geographers. A completed prohibition on entering the town of Madness is hereby declared. The tower before you once served as the Kentnox Watchtower constructed by the decree of Palamedes. Founder of the Tarian family, Travers from across Apollon, would gather to behold its majesty and unique architectural textular marbles. The current state of the tower is a result of the intensified weirdness. None who have entered to investigate the tower after have returned alive. Thus, we have renamed the watchtower to the Tower of Madness. Can I go in?
Can I fast travel? Okay, so where is he? Alright, let's start walking, I guess. Is that my horse? Hey, horse. Hey, don't hit the horse. This is my lucky day. Who the fuck was that?
the hell? Lies! She's lying! That filthy weirdness loving witch! She spews her venom and poisons minds! She was the one who hurt me! She seduced me! She looked so beautiful, so innocent! She made it impossible for me to resist! I just had to touch her! She bewitched me! What? I remember. I remember these. Why am I encumbered? What do I do with it? I might have broke this quest because I killed her. around here.
your hovel, coward! Where's the other ones? What is this? Ah! <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I already killed her. Not gonna be none too happy. I guess I shouldn't have killed her. Alright, well, broke that mission. scalps, I guess. As long as I didn't kill him, too. Commander's mind must be sharper than his sword. All this nonsense around here. Who told you that? The Dalrita? I've never paid a single gold coin to the Dalrita for deserters, not even once in my life. But since we're talking about deserters, 
Some of my men do appear to be missing. Among them is Emery, my trusted adjutant. Right now, I consider him missing in action, since Emery is not the type to defect. If you could find him, or whatever's left of him, I'd be very grateful for a report. So I've been keeping these fucking scalps for nothing? I'd be grateful. Emery is not only an experienced soldier, but he's also devoted to Camelot and very pious. His disappearance is really hitting morale hard. Yeah, so, so what about him? If you can handle the deserters, you can be sure I'll reward you. You see, it's hard to keep the men's morale up in these uncertain times. It's really no wonder that every once in a while, some of them try to desert. Still, this is the military. Desertion is unacceptable, and will always be punishable by death. Camelot especially insists on nipping the problem in the bud. Anything else? Isn't it obvious? For the safety of all the residents of Avalon, only by gathering the Meneers in one place and reigniting them will we be able to keep ourselves safe from the wordness. Avalon's population has significantly declined over recent years. We're on the brink of extinction, damn it! That's why we need to stick together, to take care of each other. Only Camelot possesses the necessary infrastructure to establish the right conditions for its people. If they remain here, they will die. Either from the wordness itself, or from the horde of monsters it spawns. And there aren't enough soldiers here for their protection. You must know that I didn't come here just to obey orders. I truly believe that this is the only way to save everyone on Avalon. Yeah, what if your plan doesn't work? Then, at the very least, We'll have bought some time for those wiser than us to think of an alternative solution. Perhaps we will invade Tuathan, like in the glorious old days. Or perhaps someone will find a way to free the derelict fleet, allowing us to return to the homelands. I don't know. But there's one thing I'm certain of, and I'll repeat it as often as necessary. Only by standing together can we overcome the wordness. Scattering our people across the island is the worst solution, and it's a sure path to our ruin. I'll await your return. Safe travels. All this nonsense around here. It's enough to drive a person mad. Welcome, traveler. You want my scalps? If it's a quick coin or a small quest you seek, and you found the right man, Askel's the name. And I'm the one who pay up for bandit heads, deserter scalps, nice. and any other nasty artifacts you might bring back from your adventures. And if you're looking for well-paid work, check the bounties I'm posting on the notice board. Here you go. Excellent. Here's your gold. Here you go. Excellent. Here's your gold. Here you go. Excellent. Here's your gold. Excellent. Here's your gold. Excellent. Okay. Here's your gold. Excellent. Here's your gold. Are you really giving me Excellent. gold? Excellent. Here's your gold. 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 Okay, I found the name of the episode. Excellent. Here's your gold. Excellent. Here's your gold. Excellent. Here's your gold. Yes. Oh, yes. Let's claim this bounty. Well, I'll be damned. Yep. Nivera. Known as the Chill Heart. She earned that nickname because her blade supposedly freezes the blood of her yeah, opponents. It's my blade it now. It certainly leaves marks like frostbite. 
Nevera is said to be a Dalrita from the Forlorn Swords. They say she was too cruel even for her own tribe and was exiled. If you ask me, she should have stayed there. But she won't be causing trouble anymore. Here's nope. your reward. Oh, here's this one. You managed to catch Lame Lorcan. Well done. Yep. I didn't know him personally, but he used to be a scout in Camelot's army. One day, he went for a mission and returned with a nasty wound above his knee. Supposedly, a weird beast got him, but he managed to kill it and drag himself back to camp. After that, he started to change, becoming more and more aggressive. Eventually, he began shooting people with his bow for no reason. He was hiding in the area, occasionally attacking people. And if it weren't for you, he'd still be doing it. Thank you. Here's your reward. Nice. Off you go. Leadership is a burden, but carried well, it can lead to greatness. Oh, there it is. Why does everything always feel like a bother? Ooh. anymore well all right that'll do it for me today hope you guys enjoy your day i'll catch you guys next time later leadership is a burden but carried well it can lead to greatness all this nonsense around here it's enough to drive a person mad. <laughs>